Right now on ABC 15 investigation, you have to see conditions at a Mesa crematory so alarming, state regulators are already taking action. It started as a tip from a viewer like you, and tonight Joe Ducey shows us what he witnessed by going undercover. As black smoke rises above, bodies are pulled out of a van below. It's a valley crematory with a big secret until now. Maggots crawling around. What we found here undercover, how bodies were being treated. Just sitting there in a van, rotting away in the heat. Day and night. Right now it is 4.41 a.m. Has shocked state investigators. I apologize profusely. This is not the conduct of our crematories. And forced a Valley family to struggle with what can happen when a loved one's body leaves your sight. He doesn't deserve that at all. I didn't know he played horseshoes. Five generations of the Cope family gather in Mesa to honor Grandpa Paul Cope. He died in March at the age of 83. They're all good memories. I can't think of any bad memories. Paul donated his skin to burn victims. His cremated ashes were supposed to come home. Yet 14 days after his death, still no ashes. And Paul's wife, daughter, and granddaughter aren't getting any answers. Tells one of us three days, tells the other about seven. Until the ABC 15 investigator showed the family this picture. That's the way they had them stacked in there. Boxes in an open van, others just sitting outside, each with names of loved ones handwritten. This man remembers one of the names. His name written real big, Paul Cope. He asked us to conceal his identity. He worked on the property and took these pictures so we could see how bodies were being held at the Allstate Crematory in Mesa. Something's been rotting in that van. He says the smell of decomposing bodies made him throw up. Imagine the worst smell you could ever smell and multiply that by 100. He says he saw unlocked vans full of boxes left overnight and he took this grainy phone video when the crematory's garage door was partially open showing what appear to be ashes and the white spots were maggots. Not just one or two maggots but the floor just covered in them. How far were the boxes from the maggots? They're sitting on top of them. This is just not acceptable. Not at all. This is just wrong. Arizona law requires crematories to hold human remains in a refrigerated holding facility, not in the back of a van. In a rigid cremation container, not collapsed boxes, that preserves the dignity of the human remains, not in a room full of maggots. So to find out how long Allstate Crematory keeps bodies this way, shine it light right on the box. The ABC 15 investigators went undercover. Spotting this red van full of boxes, and we watched it from 7 p.m. all night, hour after hour. It's 6 a.m. now. The red van is still in front of the garage. Night turned to morning. Our cameras still focused on the red van. Oh, it's 9:06 a.m. More hours pass, and the temperature rises. At 1:30, this cell phone shows it's 80 degrees. Finally, there's movement. Okay, he's gonna open up the van. Workers struggle to pull out five long boxes put them on carts, then wheel them into the crematory. It's now 2 p.m. The bodies were in the van for at least 19 hours. Okay. Ready? And we want to know why. Hey, I'm Joe Ducey with ABC 15. Those are bodies stored in your van overnight. Is that the way you should be doing it? No. Why did you do it? I don't have room. Allstate crematory owner Frank Lambert says he's too busy servicing 11 funeral homes. We found Arizona has no law limiting that number. Lambert says his cooler is full, so he stored five bodies in the red van and another four in this white van. So they were in there last night as well. How long was that? Well, overnight. Lambert took the white van home, so the four bodies inside spent the night at his house. What do you say to all the families now who are looking at this and thinking, gosh, maybe that was my mom or dad or my uncle or grandma? Just that I'm, I'm doing the best I can trying to keep on top of what business I've got. That's Lambert says he's sorry, but he's purchasing a refrigerated truck any day. He says it's kitty litter, not ashes we saw on the floor, the but admits... Well, I have seen maggots. And it takes a few days for maggots to appear. Yeah. So that means bodies have been out for a while. So, yeah, I, I'm sure they have been. I was appalled. I mean, I, I was shocked. Rudy Thomas is executive director of the Arizona State Board of Funeral Directors and Embalmers. His agency regulates crematories. How bad is this? It's bad, and it's an embarrassment to the industry. Thomas told me his department investigated Allstate Crematory after a complaint about ashes on the floor, but found nothing. We showed Thomas our video. Does he believe a van is a secure means of holding human remains? How could you do that? It must be placed in refrigeration. He's in strict violation of the law. 
And Thomas has already opened a case. Lambert goes before the board next month. As for Paul Cope's family, they wanted their own answers from Allstate Crematory. How come it's taken so long? We were there as Lambert told the Cope family Paul would be cremated that day. We've had an over overload of business. Yes, in the gold box. And the family finally did receive his ashes, placed right next to his favorite coffee cup in a special box that the family could now display and move on. Now it's time for closure. Now it's time to grieve. Now we're live in Scottsdale at the Paradise Memorial Crematory where everything seems in order, everything seems clean here. And I wanted to show you what one of these cooling systems really looks like. This is one of them. It's pretty small. 15 to 17 bodies are stored in here. As you can see, they're separated from each other, not on top of each other. And they only accept bodies when they can be refrigerated or they're imminently going to be cremated. And when it comes to cremations, you've got a perfect right to come here. Four to five people come here every week and witness a cremation. Now, tomorrow at 5 o'clock, I'm going to tell you more about your rights when a loved one's being cremated. And I want you to go to abc15.com slash investigators. We've got a lot of behind-the-scenes video of our investigation. And right there, you can let us know if you've had similar issues with any of these facilities. Reporting live in Scottsdale, Joe Ducey, ABC 15 News. Important.